What is up guys today we are back with a brand new Pokemon Go countdown video today We are going to be talking about gyms and how I think they're gonna make it into the game There are a few different ways that it could happen based off of the combat system So let's get right into it So first off I want to say that there are two ways that it could happen There could be the way based off of ingress influence combat system and a way based off of the mainline game influence combat system So let's talk about both so first off you have the actual mainline game influence combat system that's going to basically be real time player versus player battling and all your pokemon have certain moves that they can use and if they level up a certain amount of times then they'll be able to learn new moves basically it's just what you'd expect from a mainline game and it means that gyms are most likely going to function off of your trainer level so again this is something we talked about before and I'll get to more in depth in a later on video, but trainer levels I feel very strongly are going to be implemented into the game. And basically, you're going to level up after a certain amount of playtime, a certain amount of achievements, etc. There are certain ways that you level up in Ingress that makes me think this way. So if you don't know a whole lot about Ingress, maybe go check out a couple videos where people explain how you level up in it because it does make a lot more sense after you understand Ingress. So again, if it's based off of the actual mainline game combat system, we are going to see a lot of normal gym battles and normal badges, and it's just going to be the normal progression of achievement that you get from a normal Pokemon game. And that's what we want, and that's what we really, really, really want from the game. That is like the gold standard, and I really, really hope that they decide to implement it into the game in that way. I think that that would be absolutely perfect if it just popped up on your map a little while. Like, it could be a little ways away. You could have to, like, walk to it or drive to it or just be a little bit away from where you are normally on the map. That could be totally fine. I would be really hyped for that. And if you had to travel to certain locations for, like, I don't know, maybe an Elite Four challenge or something like that. That would be awesome. It would be so much fun. And it would add so much longevity to the game because eventually it would be like events would go around the country and around different countries around the world, obviously. And I'm just excited for those sorts of events because I think that that's going to be a lot of fun, especially if the combat system is really reminiscent of the mainline games. Now, obviously, if we're talking about the mainline game influence combat system, we have to be ignoring the ingress combat system, which does not function like that at all. It has something called XM bursts or XM shots. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I've seen them called both in the community, but anyways, they're basically just these powerful shots that shoot at portals and reduce the power that they have so you can take them eventually if you destroy all of their resources and their mods and everything there's a lot that goes into ingress but anyways i think that's how forts are going to work maybe not the actual battling though so i do think if they take the ingress influence combat system then we're probably going to see something that's not nearly as fun as the normal gym system and it's most likely going to have to be influenced by the achievement system because otherwise it would just be pointless and honestly kind of repetitive so just to wrap everything up if they decide to use the ingress combat system, then we're going to have a bit of an issue. I don't know how forts are going to be differentiated from gyms, but just because forts exist separate is just like a separate entity from gyms. It makes me think that most likely they're going to end up making it so gyms are within the mainline game combat and that forts are almost indicative of ingress combat. So hopefully that's what they do. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do it because obviously I haven't seen anything more than you guys have and I don't really know anything about the game other than what we've seen. So I can't make those judgments right now. That's why we speculate, right? So if you have any other ideas for how the combat system could interact with gyms, let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to be about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you would like to join this amazing community of the Coop, make sure you click that subscribe button below and, you know, maybe like if you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Till tomorrow, guys. Peace.